It was before dinner at this rented house in Collier Hills. And the Fox Fi team is a surprise addition to the menu for a host who clearly does not want to be on TV. What are you trying to tell me? Have the cameraman leave? Okay, go we'll stand down there. So w why are you putting the names of your critics and their personal information online? You don't see that? Yeah, I've seen, I've seen the actual clips. Let me talk to Let me call my lawyer. Yes, please call someone. Help us understand why you're doing this on your social media pages to people who complain about you. We got her kids on there as well, kids' information. I put it on my Instagram. And it has been a living nightmare. Williams often goes live multiple times a day to talk about food and sometimes brag about background checks followers send him about his critics. I can tell you who got the, um, the speeding ticket. I can tell you who moved from what state to what state. 2020, before COVID, Williams suddenly closed his Atlanta restaurants, focusing instead on his online TV career while also developing a side dish called doxing. Sadly, the ingredients for doxing are easy to find. Take a heaping cup of private or identifying information about someone, sprinkle some malicious intent, throw it on the internet, and watch how hot it burns. Remember those products William sells on his website? The Better Business Bureau gives his company an F rating because customers complain they never got what they want. You know, I gotta watch my words because you already know sound bites. What up, peeps? What's that? 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 Hey, what's this? Oh, people who oh, you can ban people. Oh, I mean, this thing about doxing and cyberbullying is real and it's hurtful and it's hurting people. So what did the usually chatty Darius Williams finally have to say to us? I'm just, you can just go on record and say I'm declining the comment. That's it. Have a great day. Well, wait a minute. No. These people are upset because you've been putting their personal sorry. information online, Darius. Come on. I thought you liked being on television. For the record, um, I just came off of Instagram live. Uh, I am on Instagram live four times a day so um i don't really come on facebook a whole lot um i probably should because i'm monetized on facebook but i don't really be over here like that so if you want the tea and the good gossip meet me on um instagram i try to go live morning noon and night every day some days i miss a day or two but for the most part i try to go live um I am not in the business of explaining things. I kind of want to cuss, but I know the people probably uh, recording this. What's up, D? I'll see you in New Orleans on, I get the Thursday. So I will see you in New Orleans. We got four dinners this weekend in New Orleans, third, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So New Orleans in the building, I'll see y'all. Um, okay, so I'm not in the business of... Um, explaining things and chasing rumors and all that stuff. I don't do any of that. Um, if that's what you're looking for, that's not what's about to happen. Okay, just FYI. Um, I really just wanted to come on for two seconds to address really my supporters. Hi everyone, this is about Darius Cook. Hi Angela, how are you? How are you doing? Thank you for coming through. This is about Darius Williams Cook. <laughs> well, his name is not, I don't think it's Cook, it's Williams, Darius Williams. So, you know who he friends with, you guys. He's friends with Larry. I didn't even see Larry post this on his uh, page. So, um, I did see it when it, you know, was on the news and stuff, and I just wanted to come and chat. Hi, North Carolina. How are you? Thank you guys for supporting my channel. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you guys share this video. Most definitely share this video here. So Darius Cook is under investigation for doxing. As we just heard, uh, Fox 5 is, like, on the job. He's been doxing people. Uh, putting out information about uh, people's children has been really bad. Hi, 
guy in North Carolina. It's been really bad for him. And I mean, you guys, you heard the evidence online. You heard him say somebody's been giving him information about the people that have been, uh, I guess, reporting his business. You know, so you guys heard the evidence right there. There's no need of him lying about that at all. So you guys heard the evidence there. I mean, what is it to deny when we heard it for ourselves? You know, it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, you know, he's hooked up with Larry and I believe Larry does the same thing as well. Uh, like I said, he did me like that. Larry did do me like that. He did actually go in my background to uh, snoop and peep for no apparent reason because people was out, you know, trying to uh, the same thing with Darius, trying to expose them. And anybody that try to expose them, they'll try to um, dig up their backgrounds and try to out them. But I think Darius Williams went a little bit too far with the, um, come on now, with the kids, information about the children. Mm, that was a bit much. And he did say that. You guys heard it for yourselves. Yes, that is messed up, uh, North Carolina. It is, North. That's messed up. That that's that's messed up. Like, I mean, you don't do people like that. I mean, come on now, really? You just don't do people like I mean the way he was doing it was maliciously because they was reporting his business allegedly. That's the reason why that's the reason why he was doing it. So I'll play the video for you guys one more time so you guys can hear um, what was what is really going on here. I didn't play the whole entire video because of Fox News. I did put their link down in the comments if you guys want to see the whole entire It's four hours before dinner at this rented house in Collier Hills. And the Fox Fi team is a surprise addition to the menu for a host who clearly does not want to be on TV. What are you trying to tell me? Had the cameraman leave? Okay, go stand down there. So why are you putting the names of your critics and their personal information online? You don't see that? Yeah, I've seen, I've seen the actual clips. Let me talk to Let me call my lawyer. Yes, please call someone. Help us understand why you're doing this on your social media pages to people who complain about you. We got her kids. On there as well, kids' information. I put it on my Instagram. And it has been a living nightmare. Williams often goes live multiple times a day to talk about food and sometimes brag about background checks followers send him about his critics. I can tell you who got the, um, the speeding ticket. I can tell you who moved from what state to what state. 2020, before COVID, Williams suddenly closed his Atlanta restaurants, focusing instead on his online TV career while also developing a side dish called doxing. Yep, you guys heard it for yourselves. You heard it for yourself. He's out here doxing. And that's what you call doxing. And then, you know, they, they have friends that work for the police department, allegedly. Exactly, he's messy. That works for the police department. They can go in and check people backgrounds and stuff and all this stuff here. You know, I mean, this is, I mean, come on now, really? Just because people report you, you want to go dig up their backgrounds? I mean, his life is like open to the public. So there's nothing that is hidden that we, we won't really know about him. 
you know, I, I used to go on his uh, Facebook lives all the time, but his attitude kind of drew me away from him, uh, from his platform. I love his style of cooking. I, I do applaud him for that. But his attitude, you know, is, 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 it was like, okay. And I was just telling him, I was like, oh, we're just joking. We all just, oh, da, 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 you know, you know, I mean, he just, you know, has a little attitude there. You know, I just had to move away from that platform <laughs> as well. But yes, he's a bit messy. This is messy. This is far beyond messy, you guys. Did you hear him say something about the lady kids? Oh, I'm sorry, I hit the wrong thing here. Did you guys hear when he said something about the lady kids? He had information on the children. I mean, what type of information you can you have on children? Is it the daycare centers where they're at or their dads? Or I'm just trying to figure this out. I mean, he said it. This is not nothing I'm making up here. This is not nothing I'm making up. This is what he said. This is what he said. I mean, he he's out here pulling up backgrounds and everything. They think these this is a joke. This is he thinks this is a joke. Yep, Larry Reed was doing it too. He tried to say he wasn't, but he was because CTV was working for him. He was. I not one time pulled up nobody's background. That's something I'm not going to do. We don't go out and pulling up people's backgrounds, trying to figure out where their auntie stays, their uncle stays. Come on now. This guy actually said the children, where the kids stay in. Come on, where the kids, the information about their children. That's like, hey, you, you come, you come on now. That's a bit, like you said, that seems a bit mental. That's what Betty uh, Locke said. That's a bit mental. I mean, you can like the attention, but what he's doing is, now nah, he's going too far. You know, to the point where these people actually got in touch with Fox 5 to investigate this situation and everything. This is not a game. This is not a internet beef or anything like that. This is not a a chef against the chef war. This is serious. He even mentioned the children. He even mentioned that he got people in, you know, tapping into their life, you know, digging up their information. You know, this is not right. This is this is actually not right at all, you guys. So you okay, you guys, I'm not going to be on here long, but if you have anything to say, you you you're more than welcome to comment below and say what you have to say in the comments. Okay, you guys, make sure you guys subscribe, like, and share, share, share. Hi, Uncle. How are you? You said, you said, hello, I see your boy, uh, Seiko. Yeah, I know. I went over there on his channel. Yeah. Or something. Oh, he put a victim's info on Twitter. Get out of here. Oh my God. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. That's another guy. He's he's having a quarrel with Seiko. Why did he put the why did K dub do that? I'm subscribed to K dub. Why did K dub do that, Uncle? Okay, for you guys that didn't see the video of I'm just going to play this part. Uncle, you're you going to have to let me know what's going on here with K-Dub. He put a victim's info on Twitter. So K-Dub is sort of like uh, Darius. So we got another doxing doxer out here. Come on now. So we got doxers out here. Wow. We got doctors out here, and 
in the spaces. Okay. K Dub, okay, is mad because Seiko is going at the, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know, I know he's going after John MacArthur, MacArthur right? Because I've been watching the videos. It's something about a victim. Yeah. But I'm gonna have to check that out about K Dub. Is it the is it the victim of John MacArthur? But no, John MacArthur is not the one that did it. But is this the victim that got something to do with John MacArthur or something like that, Uncle? Wait a minute. Yes, and he's a cop. Who's a cop? Who's a cop? Who's a cop? Oh, excuse me, you guys. I'm sorry. Okay, let's see who's the cop. Yes, the victim of K. Oh, K. I didn't know K. Doug was a cop. I didn't know that. I didn't know K. Doug was a cop. Wow. Oh, he's gonna be in big trouble. Oh, he's he's doing too much now. Oh, K. Dub. I, I think I'm. Ain't K. Dub is a YouTuber. Come on, stop with K Dub. Oh wow, he's out here putting people information on line. And you gotta, you gotta send me the link to that. Um, what is his? Hey, give me his uh Twitter name and stuff like that, K Dub. So I can go check this stuff out. We have people out here doxing people. You guys, Darius in big trouble for doxing the people that are reporting him. This is not allegedly, it's in the video that he's doxing. Okay, me either on Seiko's video. Okay. It says victim changed her name. He put her real name. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. The victim changed her name and he put her real name out. See, we got more doctors out here in the public spaces, you guys. You guys stop checking people background. If you need to, you can do it, but it has to be for a reason. It has to be for a good reason. You can't be out here just prying people's information because you're trying to get back at them on the internet. I mean, come on now. It has to be for a good reason. They have, I mean, if somebody commit a crime against you, then you have a reason to check their backgrounds. And then also, if you are a victim of any said crime or any said crime of doxing, um, sexual harassment or anything like that, right? You have a right to check your date background before you date them. You have every right. Uh, if you are a victim, you have to be a victim of violence. That's the only way you could do it. But if you haven't been a victim of violence of no such thing or anything like that, you can't just be going around checking people's background like that. I'm just saying. Okay, you said they need to ban him for a couple of months. You talking about um, they need to ban Darius Williams, Betty? Yeah, pretty much. They need to ban him because this is too much. Like he knows he's a celebrity cook and he's very well known, so. They need to do something about that because, I mean, being a celebrity, you can't go back and forth with people on the internet. That's just number one. You can't let them do whatever they want to do. If they get out of line, then we have a problem. But you guys see Fox Five? They show his address. They show everything. They showed his house. They went to his house. So they figured. Okay, you doxing everybody else, so we're going to show where you stay at since you want to pull up everybody else's background. Exactly. 
Miss Betty. Exactly. Hi. Hi. Exactly. So I'm going to play the video at the end, but I'm not going to play it right now because I'm talking to Uncle. Uncle brought some. Uncle brought the tea. Oh yeah, Uncle brought the tea too. Yeah. <laughs> you said all YouTubers are like celebrities. I mean, not all all YouTubers, but some of them are just what they call them trolls. They're just trolls. Some YouTubers are just trolls. Mm -hmm. So we have Miss Root in the house. ACOJ, thank you for coming through. Thank you all those that are in the window that, that are not commenting. Make sure you guys hit the like on your way in. Hit the like button on your way out. Okay? I've had people recognize me. Yes, I know. If you have a channel and you're on there, you're talking and you're doing something, yes, of course, you're going to be recognized. Of course, yeah. So, Miss, Mr. Darius Williams, they call him Darius Cook Williams. He has been out here doxing people, trying to be like Larry. He better slow his butt down. See, Larry Reed ain't got this far right here to the point where Fox 5 don't pick his story up. But I'm just saying, Darius, I don't know what's wrong with Darius. Darius got too much going on for himself for him to be out here doxing people. <laughs> I mean, what else he wants to lose? Because he's already in trouble. I think one of his employees, it was a assault case against him by one of his employees that used to work ex-employees and he did admit to it on Larry's channel that it did actually happen. Let me say allegedly because you know how he is. All them, yeah, Larry. And, but he did mention it on Larry's channel. I should have got that part. So he went be like, oh, I didn't assault anybody, but hey, that's, that's the word. Oh, uncle, oh, uncle talking about somebody else out here doxing a victim, a real victim. Okay. She actually changed her name and there was an officer that put her real name and her information on Twitter. Okay. That's what uncle, uncle brought the tea. Uncle brought the tea. <laughs> we have another doctor out here. We have, uh, I think I follow K, KD. K Dub. I think I follow K Dub. I think I follow him. So, okay, you guys, I don't want to be on here long. Those that came in late, I still appreciate you guys coming in. Make sure you guys share this video. Okay. Oh, she, he put her church. He put her church position and everything. Oh my God, what is going on with K Dub? This got something to do with Mac Arthur, right? This what this is about. Because I've been watching it. I've been watching the whole thing, but I missed this K-Dub. Okay. Uh, does Darius have a cooking show on TV? No, he's a social media person. That's what, Dar that's what Darius is. He's like, he's kind of like a self-made that's that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about, MacArthur. That that's what it's about. Yes, yes, Miss Rue. Right. This is what's going on here. I've been watching a story about MacArthur on Seiko's uh, channel. So, you know, we got we got some doctors out here in this in uh, public spaces out here on the U, in the YouTube uh, spaces. I don't know if you have anything on TV, but all I know, he is very well known person and he is a celebrity. He is a celebrity that he is. And he should not be out here titting for tatting with these people that are uh, out here reporting him. So he just, I mean, I just wouldn't do it. I wouldn't jeopardize my life. And then what he said was like, no, nah, that wasn't good at all.
So I'm going to play the video back, and I'm this is this will be my last. I'm trying to make sure I don't have no music playing. Cause last time I had music playing. Okay, you guys, make sure you hit like button on your way in and on your way out. It's four hours before dinner at this rented house in Collier Hills. And the Fox Fi team is a surprise addition to the menu for a host who clearly does not want to be on TV. What are you trying to tell me? Have the cameraman leave? Okay, go we'll stand down there. So why are you putting the names of your critics and their personal information online? You don't see that? Yeah, I've seen, I've seen the actual clips. Let me talk to Let me call my lawyer. Yes, please call someone. Help us understand why you're doing this on your social media pages to people who complain about you. We got her kids on there as well. Kids information. I put it on my Instagram. And it has been a living nightmare. Williams often goes live multiple times a day to talk about food and sometimes brag about background checks followers send him about his critics. I can tell you who got the, um, the speeding ticket. I can tell you who moved from what state to what state. 2020 before COVID, Williams suddenly closed his Atlanta restaurants, focusing instead on his online TV career while also developing a side dish called doxing. Sadly, the ingredients for doxing are easy to find. Take a heaping cup of private or identifying information about someone, sprinkle some malicious intent, throw it on the internet, and watch how hot it burns. Remember those products William sells on his website? The Better Business Bureau gives his company an F rating because customers complain they never got what they want. You know, I gotta watch my words because you already know sound bites. What up, peeps? What's that? 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 Hey, what's this? Oh, people who be oh, you can ban people. Oh, I this thing about doxing and cyberbullying is real and it's hurtful and it's hurting people. So what did the usually chatty Darius Williams finally have to say to us? I'm just, you can just go on record and say I'm declining to comment. That's it. Have a great day. Well, wait a minute. No. These people are upset because you've been putting their personal information online, Darius.